Thank you for saving me. You are braver than I, Worlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. More like someone. <laughs> you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. Is it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot! Nice! Not bad. Oh, damn it, Serana. Your freaking skeleton is making noises at me. Fine. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> battle. <laughs> healing. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going even worse than before. <laughs> and here I thought I was being tactical and clever. They look at you expectant. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. I want to try one more time. <laughs> I should start the break right now. Actually, no, it's okay. It's not gonna take a minute and a half to die. What? Holy crap! What's wrong with... <laughs> oh god.
Achievement unlocked. Legendary warrior. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Uh. Taking a look. Oh, is that a feather? Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we are going to be checking out a city builder I've been wanting to play for some time now. It is called Against the Storm, so I think we're going to dive in there. Uh, I hope everybody's having a fantastic Friday and getting prepared for an awesome weekend. Let me just switch over there we go and i'll get the game going now i have to apologize guys i've been running a little bit late today ben what the heck an adult happy meal how's though how's it going uh let's take a look at options because this is the very first time i have ever ever run this game I think maximized window is what you usually call borderless window I, it's weird how different people call it such different things different games call it different things okay, monitor rates fine They exist, had one for dinner last night. It's called the Kerwin Box, but it's more commonly known as the Adult Happy Meal. Where do you get that? Here for a limited time nationwide. Ah, McDonald's is not going to happen. I haven't eaten at McDonald's in close to 25 years, and I have no plans to change that anytime soon. Recipe limits at the beginning of every run? I've got a lot to learn about this game, it would seem. A McNugget, buddy. I will pass. But thank you for the heads up. Wait. What? I had no idea this game had Twitch integration. Hey, Aaron, Laura, how's it going? Ooh. You know what? a moment here. Want to know how you can display good manners and bad manners at the same time? How, Ben? The world is plagued by the Blight Storm, a vile cycle of destruction ravaging everything wow, in ben. its path. The only safe haven is the smoldering city where the mysterious Scorched Queen reigns. 
You are one of her viceroys, a pioneer sent into the wilds, tasked with establishing new settlements and acquiring valuable resources for the crown. Your goal is to help rebuild the smoldering city and secure the future of the Queen's subjects. Inactive buildings will be ignored by builders and haulers. Okay. Oh man, this is beautiful. Neglecting your village will increase the Queen's impatience and bring her wrath upon you. Fulfilling your duties will increase the town's reputation, unlock new buildings, and eventually bring you victory. This is gonna get some taking, like, take some getting used to. Now choose a blueprint. Select the crown icon below. Space to resume. Bill, I have to keep the going at all times. Oh, here we are. possible. Very possible, Erinor. I have no idea, because this is literally the first time I booted up the game. I've seen a little of it played, but I was, you know, kind of keeping half an eye on it while I've been working on my database stuff. So I really, I know it's a city builder. I know it's gorgeously environmental, and that's about the full extent of it. Winning and losing. In Against the Storm, you build not one but many settlements. To successfully establish a town and therefore win a run, you need to collect enough reputation points to fill the entire reputation bar. It's important to do this before the Queen's impatience reaches its maximum. If the Queen loses her patience, you will lose. You also lose if all of your villagers either leave or die. <clears throat> Periodically, you'll be assigned new orders from the Citadel. Select the envelope icon in the upper right corner to check the new objectives. Reinforced axes. Every full reputation point you acquire lowers impatience. That's good to know. now. Uh, what do we do here? Do we have any kind of storage? 
housing, industry, city buildings. Mark trees for harvesting. Useful when trying to carve a path to nearby glades. Hold shift for a smaller marker. Hold control to exclude trees on the edge of glades. Hold alt to clear marked trees instead. Dangerous glade. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna... I'm still in the tutorial. I suspect until I'm out of the tutorial, there's just not much to be done. Getting there. Oh, I need a second woodcutter camp. That's what it's waiting for. Okay. ready to complete. Complete orders to unlock unique rewards and unlock new blueprints with reputation points. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Beavers, woodcutter. Assign five beavers as woodcutters. Three humans will join the settlement. Pack of meat. Okay. Crystal Dragon 22 is here, bringing 13 brave raiders. What did the movie critics say about the Minecraft movie? It's a blockbuster. CD, what the heck? Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. How's it going today? Welcome on in, folks. If you do not know CD, Crystal Dragon 22, he's been an awesome friend of the channel for quite some time now, so make sure you go give him a follow. Thank you very much for the shout out, Aaron Lar. How was your stream, CD? Tell me all about it. What did you get up to? Oh, you were playing Clue today. Very nice. How did that go? So, uh, who ended up being the culprit? Who did it? Um, Today we are playing some Against the Storm. This is a city builder that I've been wanting to play for some Chrissy time Chrissy Beth now. 93 has arrived at the library seeking law. The library is the temple of learning. And learning has liberated more people than all the wars in history. Carl T. Rowan. Thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, we're, we're playing some Against the Storm, which is a city builder I've been wanting to play for a while now. And so far it seems really, really awesome. 
Uh, if you are new here to the channel, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games, with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, all that kind of good stuff. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, please feel free to hit the follow button, and I do have a little video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Let me just see if I can kill the sound for now. There we go. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts i uh, love that quote you have a library of your own very nice chrissy also love city builder games play a few of them but haven't heard of this one this one is pretty new is my understanding there we go played a few different games with different people having done it each time funny enough i play as green and solve the murder he committed while playing as him more than once in this version of the game it was such a great stream Almost in tears at the support was shown today. The Dragon Slayer saw its first ever hype train. Congratulations. That is really, really awesome. So we are just at the very earliest stages of the tutorial here. I just started playing. So I'm still trying to get my bearings here. Uh, this game does feature Twitch integration, but I don't think it functions while we are in the tutorial. So... We have to get through the tutorial, and then apparently you will be able to do something. No idea what. So, so far, I have built a couple of wood-cutting things, because it seems to be very important that I keep this fire going at all times. Choose a blueprint. Can accommodate any villager, but won't satisfy the need for species-specific housing. Noctum underscore zero has arrived at the library seeking lore. Dickens, as you know, never got round to starting his homepage. Terry Pratchett. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Uh, won't satisfy the need for species-specific housing. Has to be built near a hearth. Can house three residents. Okay, let's do that then. And I think I also need to reassign this. I don't think we want you there. We want yeah. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am of one of the clans, McLeod. Fun fact, there's more than one. Can accommodate any villager? Right. Residence three. Excellent. Exploring the wild two glades. We've got five beavers set up as woodcutters. There we go. We'll be overachievers and get six. <laughs> it's good to have you here, Noctum. Okay. Um, I don't know how much of the trees need to be chopped down for me to technically discover the glade. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. Oh, there we go. I think that's one. Drizzle wing nest, small. Root deposit, small. An abandoned drizzle wing nest. These small flightless birds run away as soon as they spot another living creature nearby. Requires a camp with a star recipe or better. Gather with Trapper's Camp, Small Trapper's Camp. Just so you know, I'm very tired, so a good chance exists I may fall asleep watching, but rest assured if I do, my phone is plugged in, you'll have my sleep lurk all the way through. Appreciated. Speaking of, there's actually a small chance I might have to end stream earlier than usual today. My car is in the shop and I may have to go grab it. But we're not talking like an hour or two hours early. If I do have to wrap up early, it'll be more in the order of half an hour or so. So I will be on for a good long time to come. <laughs> Thank you, Noctum. I appreciate that. Newcomers are way... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Once in a while, you can welcome a new group of villagers. Don't let them wait too long. How do I... What? Where? Oh. Curvin Runebeak, Royal Stormwalker. These people have been sent here by the Crown. Which group do you want to stay, Viceroy? The other will continue on to the next settlement. Humans and I think those are human and beaver, and then these guys are beaver and lizard. Vegetables, leather, and stone, or we can take grain. I think we're going to take these guys. I think we're going to have to build some more housing here. I wish you wouldn't link that, Aranor. Oh, oh, we got our second... Right, okay. Order's re ready to complete. We discovered two glades by chopping down trees. Cut through the forest to discover two glades. Uh, assign five beavers woodcutters. Excellent. So we get a group of humans. And we get a pack of meat. That sounds, sounds like a good deal to me. Next objective. Small foragers camp. A small crude version of a specialized camp. It's slower and can only gather from small nodes. Can collect grain, 
fruits and vegetables. So we need to get vegetables in the camp. We need to get the small foragers camp. We get giant vegetables as rewards. And we get Queen's Grace. So let us build an... Uh, the, wait, what? Where's the small foragers camp? You are way too kind, CD. Uh... Choose a blueprint. Though you're surrounded almost entirely by a thick forest, there are smaller and bigger glades around your starting location. To establish a successful settlement, you'll have to cut your way through to them. Glades can contain resources, treasures, fertile soil, ruined buildings, and more. Use the tree marking tool, the axe icon to the right-hand side of the low, lower central HUD, to point your woodcutters to specific areas of the forest they should prioritize. The best rewards come from dangerous or forbidden glades, marked with a skull icon, but these always have at least one dangerous glade event within them, which will require you to, to deliver certain goods or complete a challenge to complete them. Okay. Okay, so we've got various species. Yeah, we've got humans, beavers, lizards. Very resilient and distrustful species. They're very good with animals and meat production and prefer to work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature. Beavers are hardworking and honest, but also quite demanding. They are gifted woodworkers and enjoy engineering. Humans are an adaptable species, but very susceptible to the rain. Humans are adept at farming and really enjoy brewing. Okay. And then there are two more mystery species that we unlock later in the game. For right now, I am very put off that I don't seem to have the ability to do... Oh, wait, hang on. You can choose a new blueprint as a reward for earning reputation points. Press the pulsing number on the reputation bar. There we are. Thank you. Now I can do the thing. of a specialized camp. Slower can only gather from smaller nodes. Can collect grain, roots, and vegetables. Let's assign a human. Or two. Still working on this area over here to unlock this larger glade. Let's get a few more things marked here. We're gonna cut right through there. And probably there. And there too. Now we do have one of those dangerous glades right over here. But I don't feel up to doing that just yet. Flaxfield. Resilient plants that are perfect for cloth making requires a camp with a star recipe or better. So there's a lot of resources. I have a lot to learn about this game. What is this? Root deposit, small. It 
tangled net of li living vines requires a camp with... Yeah, okay. So we've got the two of the five vegetables we need. See, it's letting us build housing. I don't know how much we need, though. Oh, the individual residents have names? That's cool. So how many do I have? I, looks like I've got 15 humans, 9 beavers, and 4 lizards. So we're probably a little bit low on housing, it looks like. Almost there. One more vegetable. Come on, guys. So what's everyone got planned for the weekend? I hope you've all got some excellent plans lined up. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to be doing beyond streaming. I'll be on tomorrow, of course, and I'm also planning on doing a bonus stream tomorrow night. Choose a cornerstone. Orders ready for completion. So we got some giant veggies. Hey, Mr. Soggy Ramen, how's it going? Just some commentary tonight is in the plans. Very nice. What are you commentating? Next objective, stone cutters camp, an advanced camp, can gather large and giant resources nodes, resource nodes, in addition to small ones, can collect stone, clay, and sea marrow. Clay in stone cutters camp, produce five clay in the building stone cutters camp. As a reward, I get steel shovels and a crate of stone. Okay. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely, as you won't be able to change it. Exploration contract. The Royal Academy wants a detailed map of the region and will supply anyone willing to help. Gain 20 reed and 20 clay for each discovered glade. Or carpenter's tools. Building materials are the foundation of every great settlement. Production is 50% quicker in the building crude workstation. I'm thinking exploration contract. I mean, either of them sounds pretty good, honestly. Your renown groans. Your your renown grows. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints that the queen offers you. We have a four-person race on free enterprise tonight. That's awesome, Aranlar. AFK, no worries. Do what you gotta do. Alright. Camps. Stonecutters camp. Looks like we have clay up here, so let's put the stone cutters camp. Uh, I'll put it right here, actually. And then we're going to extend the road up some. this 
Small encampment, late event. A destroyed camp in the wilderness. There are still survivors in the area. Welcome new people, send to the citadel. If I send them to the citadel, I get an amber pouch, but if I welcome the new people, I get a lizard, a beaver, and a human. Ooh. I might have no choice. Vegetables, mushrooms, roots. I have no berries. I don't know if I can gather those. Investigate. That's neat. You aren't on the big screen at the moment, sadly. I'm at work. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Soggy Roman. Just gonna chill out for the rest of the weekend, maybe do another stream during the weekend, not sure yet. Have your appointment next to deal with your moderate sleep apnea on the other side of the weekend, so you should be closer to have it and get properly treated soon. Excellent. I hope that goes well. Now, I wonder if I should cut through and get over to this glade. I think I will. Too soon for dangerous glades. Okay. Never mind then. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. This building needs a deposit to continue working. It either has no access to one or is placed too far from a deposit to be efficient. Oh. Well. Can I move it? I thought there was a clay deposit somewhere. I like that I can just pick it up and drop it wherever I need it. Oh, clay deposit. Okay. I moved you to the wrong place then. Let's go here. properly treated soon because you've been fighting its effects for almost a year. It's taking a toll I don't want to overreact about, but it's not a small toll at this point. Does not sound fun. Okay, guys. They still seem to be cutting towards the dangerous glade. This might be the end of the game if they cut through to it. I took away the marker to tell them to cut, but oh boy. Hold control to exclude trees on the edges of glades. Oh, 
Well, I, I did by unmarking the trees, or so I thought. Orders ready to complete. Harvester's Camp. An advanced camp can gather large and giant resource nodes in addition to small ones. Can collect plant fiber and reed. Plant fiber in Harvester's Camp. Have a Harvester's Camp. Rich in fiber. Alright. Okay, so they can work with flax. I guess if they're gonna keep walking around here, I might as well just put a bit of a road in there. I assume there's some movement bonus to it. There may not be. Have you on the 42 inch TV much easier to see the game compared to a few inches of only part of a phone screen? Oh god. Yeah, this is a game that deserves to be seen, if possible. It's really beautiful. I just love it for the fact that it seems to rain all the time. I love raining games. And real life too, honestly, but. Newcomers are waiting. These people have been sent here by the Crown. Which group do you want to stay, Viceroy? The other will continue on to the next settlement. So we can take one human and one lizard, and we would gain leather and grain. Or we can take one human, one lizard, and one beaver, and gain nine clay. I think we're going to take them. Orders are ready to complete already? What the heck? That was fast. Deliver. Okay. Planks in crude workstation. Bricks in crude workstation. Fabric in crude workstation. In exchange, we will get parts and a workstation upgrade perk. Plus 50% amount to goods produced in crude workstation. this dangerous glade before we're ready for it.
Okay, so what do we got here? We can't make pipes, but we can do planks, fabric, and bricks by the look of it. Glade events are objects found in the forest like abandoned caches, survivor camps, ruins, wild beasts, etc. Some of them are positive, offering goods or new villagers in exchange for a small amount of resources. Others are dangerous, forcing you to act quickly to avoid negative consequences while also giving you generous rewards should you complete them. Once you select a Glade event, the event panel will appear. There you'll be able to find a few different sections. Effects, worker slots, requirements, and rewards. The effect section shows you the possible negative consequences of the event and how much time you have left before they occur. To complete an event, you need to assign workers to it, choose one of two options if the event has more than one solution, and select investigate. Very often, events have more than one way of being solved. Most events offer two different approaches, with each approach having its own requirements, rewards, and so-called working effects. Working effects are special conditions that activate once you give the order to investigate an event, like a resolve penalty, a slow debuff, etc. Your goal is to survive these conditions for a set amount of time. After an event has been completed, your workers will deliver the rewards to your warehouse and no negative effects will trigger. Logistics. Every building has its own internal storage where goods it produces or gathers are temporarily stored. When the internal storage reaches its limit, the goods in it will be transported to the main warehouse by a worker. While transporting, it's important to keep in mind that villagers have a limited carry capacity depending on their profession and active perks, so they might need to walk between their workplace and the main warehouse multiple times. Goods kept in a building's internal storage can also be accessed by workers from other production buildings as ingredients for recipes they're working on. If two buildings are close enough and use each other's internal storage, an animated dotted line will be visible between them after selecting one of the buildings. Sometimes deliveries and production might stall for a while because of breaks. Every few minutes, workers will return to a nearby hearth to eat and rest. During a break, they'll consume at least one item of food and try to fulfill all of their needs, clothing and services. If a villager has multiple needs tied to complex food, they will consume more than one meal. I'm assuming doubling up a road increases its throughput. I would not necessarily assume that, actually. In the version of Clue, I was playing one of the boards that is themed different from the original is called Black Adder Resort. Is that related to the show of the same name? Of course, a resort themed board in which it rains. I love how that board, as do many of the uh, different versions of Clue, has its own rooms, weapons, and even different tokens with more resort themed clothing. Have the epic crime collection that came with the Black Adder Resort and also nine more new future boards yet to come. That's awesome. I haven't played Clue in a very long time. Okay. If you guys could work on the trees that I have actually designated, that would be fantastic, please, and thank you. Let's move this over here. I think they're actually working on the stuff that I designated. That's handy.
Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Oh. I moved the workstation instead of the woodcutter's camp. Yeah, that's okay. How do I get rid of roads? Well, I'm trying to avoid having them cut through and get to this dangerous glade. I want to get to this one instead. I'm also hoping that maybe one day we'll actually clear this one, which was the first one I ever told them to get to. Closer, or have another camp, perhaps? they can't get to it. That might be the problem. Let's put this back where it used to be. And I'm going to move this over here. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely, as you won't be able to change it. Fiber delivery line, 15 plant fiber per minute, or egg delivery line, 15 eggs per minute. Take the eggs, I'm pretty sure that's food. So we're doing pretty good. It looks like the Queen's impatience hasn't advanced very far, but our reputation is going along pretty well. I finally learned the secret to effective clearing of the forest. It's surprising to me how little range the woodcutters camps have. Follow your orders. 
These people have been sent here by the Crown. Which group do you... Oh, three-minute warning, guys. We have a break coming up in three minutes. I will run clips when that happens. So if you do have to watch ads, uh, first of all, thank you very much. It really helps the channel more than you think it does. And second of all, you're not going to miss anything. Uh, these people have been sent here by the Crown. So we get three lizards as well as clay and plant fiber or one lizard and one beaver plus stone grain and plant fiber i'm going to take that and i'm going to replace one of these humans with one of the new beavers because beavers are better at wood cutting surprisingly i'm getting the same vibes from this that i do with your city skylines 2 streams very common fun yeah I think we're going to have more city builders and other similar types of games on the stream in the future. The Queen gave you orders. Keep track of them and try to complete them to advance your settlement. I'm working on it. We're, we've got planks going. I might need another workshop. camp. Doesn't hurt that you're good at it, and I learn a lot from watching you as well. I am glad to hear that. Okay, looks like the break is just about to begin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So let's just assign some people to the new workshop, and we'll let them get to work. And then it's about time right now for me to start that break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a very good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes. I need more oxygen plants. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, thanks. Got that. I think I'm going to die again. Oh. I have no idea how to get out of here. I'm so dead. I'm so far down. Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Ooh, okay. Not today. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. T-Rexes want to eat. They will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep.
Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. Uh, rugged BD assembly scrapyard solar. Yes. Oh, it gave me the complete upgrade package? You're kidding me. Love it. That's so cool. Sorry. Sorry. No. 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 I'm in the wagon, ready to go. I'm out of the hole. First try. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. There you go. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? Oh, you're one of ours. Never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> wow! Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam node on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> oh my god. Creepy. My name is George Lambert. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell is this? Dude, it's not gonna work. Give it up. much wow game Good season um oh my
Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Unless I get another coughing fit. Which seems pretty likely. <laughs> See? <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. It's time for a hard reset. Oh, my God. Well. That's a hell of an intro. Okay, I am back. Now, why does that one look like it's working, but this one really doesn't? I wonder... Oh, they might still be getting it stocked with resources. It looks like they're doing a lot of delivering here. There we go. There we are. X-Wing! Yeah, I think this is a very new game. It's only been out for a short time. I picked it up last night. I was going to do a, um, a bonus stream last night. But I've decided to move it to Saturday night instead. I've got this off-stream project that has been taking up a lot of my time when I'm not streaming. And I was on a real roll with it last night, so I wanted to keep it going. But yeah, I picked it up to play last night, so I thought, well, okay. Didn't do it last night, let's play it today. So far, it's really awesome. I'm really having a good time with this. This is probably the last objective of the tutorial. Ancient tablets. Cut through the forest to discover one dangerous or forbidden glade. Okay, so now is the time. So we're going to get an amber pouch. Change scrolls to fabric in the ancient shrine, etc., etc. Okay, interesting. So now we actually do want to cut through here. Thank you, Aranar. Uh, this is a city builder, X-Wing. Basically, we are on a royal charter. The queen has sent us off into the wilderness as one of her viceroys to create new settlements. And so we are creating new towns with populations of humans and beavers and lizards, oh my. And apparently there are mystery races that I haven't yet uh, unlocked that come about later in the game. And it's pretty cool so far. Not annoying the queen, it seems. Yes, that's also an important bit of it, too. Reputation bonus. The queen's envoy. Your renown grows. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints that the queen offers you. And for once, it actually is a choice. We can have a beaver house. Building specifically made for beavers has to be built near a hearth. Can house two residents. Lizard house. Building specifically made for lizards. Has to be built near a hearth. Can house two residents. And Human House, building specifically made for humans, has to be built near a hearth, can house two residents. Uh, we're going to go with the human because we have a lot of humans. It is very cozy, and it's... Well, it's called Against the Storm, so you can imagine that there are quite a few rain incidents. In fact, I have not yet seen it stop raining, so it's kind of the perfect game for me because I love raining games. There's nothing more cozy than the sound of rain.
called What Is This? Herbalist's Camp. A building destroyed by the storm, it can be rebuilt or salvaged. happened with that other oh I guess we did the thing okay a nice cup of hot chocolate would go perfect with this right now yeah yeah I can see that well we have berries here too and giant resource notes in addition to small ones can collect herbs, berries, and mushrooms. Lizards are not ideal for this, but we're going to have to go with that because I'm out of everybody else. Crystal Dragon 22 just redeemed terrible pun or dad joke. I met a shepherd while crossing a field. We talked about you. Been a while, think it's time I got one in. Okay, we can do that. Need to warn everybody in advance. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke and there's a reason they're called that. This is not comedy gold. If I deliver comedy gold, I have failed. All right. What streets do ghosts haunt? Dead ends. There you go. I'm very sorry. Another glade, maybe, perhaps? Oh, I think we're about to get to the dangerous one, too. There we go. An ominous shrine from a long forgotten era. It's dangerous, but it might hold some ancient knowledge useful to the crown. 43 seconds? What? Curse of the Forefathers. Consequence. Disturbing the ruins of the great civilization can have grave consequences. Kills three random villagers. Requirements? Four planks. 20 scrolls? I don't think I can make scrolls. Oh, God. Uh... <gasps> No materials. Missing one or more materials required to complete the event? Oh no. Shoot. How do I make scrolls? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Change scrolls to fabric in the ancient shrine? It would be nice if they told me how to make scrolls. Yeah, I am in tutorial. I think this is the last part of the tutorial. I don't know. Hang on. Um, Woodcutter camp, stonecutter camp, harvester's camp, small forester's camp, 
and because of a glade event, I've got an herbalist camp that I shouldn't have. I rebuilt it. Uh, we've got the crude workstation. We've got decorative crap, and we've got shelters and human houses, and that's it. Unless the workstation can work in conjunction with something else. No. Planks, fabric, bricks, and pipes. Ancient shrine is idle. Yeah, I can't do anything about any of those, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Small encampment. I have nobody to send. An event found in the forest has workers assigned, but no orders to investigate were given. That's because I have no materials. A human died, a human woodcutter died. Well. Oh, it's gonna keep happening? Crap. That is evil, what the heck? get some scrolls or something from one of these glades that I don't currently have access to. I did. I did get the pun.
Newcomers are waiting. Roots and leather, grain, stone, and vegetables. I guess we'll accept these guys. Abandoned cache of goods. This could be a lost shipment or something much more valuable. Break open basket of berries, chest of coal, or send to the citadel and get the queen's grace and an amber pouch. We're gonna be greedy. Sadly, that's not gonna help us with this, which I think is just gonna completely destroy the game. I'm not sure we have any more plates that we can open up. Oh, there is this one. So let's build another uh, carpenter's woodcutter shop thing. One of one dangerous glades. Change scrolls to fabric in the ancient shrine. If only I could do it the other way. I can... I've got lots of fabric. If I could change fabric into scrolls, that would be really handy. Luxury goods used for education unavailable in this tutorial. Select the icon to change to another resource. What? Oh. Oh. Would have been nice if they emphasized that a little bit more. Yeah, very much so, Aradar. I mean, it's nice that they give you a way to actually make it happen. No! Rude. Uh, human craftsman, lizard builder, and lizard herbalist died. Damn you. Just a few seconds too late. Okay, well... We got there in the end.
This village has been secured, but there is one more test of your skills. Unlocked content. Woodcutter's Camp, Small Forager's Camp, Stonecutter's Camp, Harvester's Camp, Crude Workstation, Small Hearth, Small Warehouse, Trading Post, Farm Field. The Queen's Envoy. Press any key to start. Where's the any key? Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant positive or passive reputation over time. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complete food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. Farmers can plant only on farm fields, and those can only be built on fertile soil. Crops are planted in the first season, drizzle, and harvested during the second season, clearance. Enjoy your lurk, Aranor. <coughs> Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in a tavern. Traders from the smoldering city can station here and offer their wares, but how do we do the brewing thingy? Your renown grows. You can now choose from one of the available blueprints that the queen offers you. Small farm. Okay. Uses a small number of farm fields nearby to produce vegetables and grain. Gain reputation points in three different ways, by successfully completing orders, by exploring your surroundings, or by keeping your villagers happy. Orders are very straightforward. You always get at least one reputation point for completing them. To gain reputation for villagers' well-being, you have to increase the resolve so that it reaches the reputation threshold, indicated by a blue line on the resolve bar. After that, they will start generating reputation points passively. With time, your villagers will become accustomed to their living conditions and the reputation threshold will increase, forcing you to satisfy more complex needs. To acquire reputation from exploring, you will have to cut your way through the forest to dangerous or forbidden glades and complete the glade events located there. But beware, these events can be challenging at times or might require you to deliver special resources to complete them. Some perks or goods brought from traders, bought from traders can also increase your reputation. Let's get a woodcutter's camp straight away. We're gonna build that right here. Oh, they actually have to build the farmer's fields. That's interesting.
ready to complete. Woodcutter's camp, shelter. Reputation bonus. Your renown grows. Okay, so we can do shelter. You can accommodate any villager, etc. Okay. Uh, let's do... Stonecutter's camp over this way. Let's start getting some roads put in as well. It really is, X-Wing. It's really, really nice. How are you doing, by the way, X-Wing? It's good to have you here. I hope all is well with you. Choose a cornerstone. Farming tools, plus 50% to amount of goods produced in the small farm. Or barrel delivery line, five barrels per minute. Getting the last things ready for Christmas? Nice. Yeah, I have a bit of stuff left to do for Christmas myself. It's mostly taken care of. Anything going on this weekend? Baking cookies tomorrow and having a few friends over for some impromptu Christmas food. That sounds awesome.
what else do I need? Harvester camp would probably be a good idea. They wrote today, asked if I was home tomorrow as they were driving by and wanted to drop off a Christmas gift some of your internet friends had gotten for you. And you don't visit me without getting something to eat. That's awesome. I actually need to figure out what I'm going to bake for Christmas cooking this year, now that I think about it. I haven't really thought about it yet. No builders available. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, I need another woodcutter's camp. We're a little tight on space right now. Small encampment, late event. A destroyed camp in the wilderness. There are still survivors in the area. are waiting. Leather, or we can take grain, clay, and roots. I think we'll go with these. Making stuff for some Danish open sandwiches. S'moreboard tonight? Sorry for my pronunciation, but that sounds delicious. What do you usually put on those? ready to complete. Trapper's camp and meat in small trapper's camp. Okay, so we finally have something to assign to our lizard folk. I should probably also clear more forest. variants, but I'm making some sauces to marinate pickled herring in, a mustard sauce, a curry sauce, and some blueberry sauce. Sounds odd, but it's delicious on some rye bread. I will have to take your word for that one. Seafood and I do not get along, but uh, that's just a me thing. a blueprint. Small trapper's camp. Oh. 
Here. That's exciting. Orders ready to complete. Lots of old recipes that date back to ye olden times. Most weird, most weird ways to cook pork so it lasts longer. Now well, that's interesting. Smokehouse enable meat in the jerky recipe. Jerky in smokehouse. Builders pack barrels nets. So I guess the idea here is that we're working our way up to having a tavern available. Oh. Uh, the smokehouse is quite large. Crap, where am I going to have space to build this thing? working overtime, so if you don't mind... Oh, I have extras. Okay. Oh. Bundle of plant fiber, pack of meat. Okay, we are clearing areas here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm very curious what's going on here. Why is it sparkling? Builders available, choose a cornerstone. Efficient brewing, plus 50% to the amount of goods produced in the brewery. Or grain bags, specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production increases by plus one every 25 times it's produced. Newcomers. destroy roads. Good. I think we need some more housing. Sacred Pyre, fire keeping bonus. Lizard fire keepers are very adept at ancient rites. Plus one to global resolve. So this is the one we've got to watch out for. That's a dangerous glade. Probably don't want to do that one right away. them work. 
working on clearing a bunch of that. Now it actually looks like we've cleared enough space down here that I can consider building that smokehouse we need. Looks like we've got more meat resources here. Slick shell brood mother. So they're snail meat. That's fun. So I'll probably put another thing over here. Holy crap. camp, small trappers camp. Sorry, I'm going to have to take you off duty there. There we go. There's got to be something nearby that it can work on. Maybe not. Alright, well, deactivate for now, I guess. Three minute warning, guys. Three minutes and we'll have another break.
Oh. Interesting. We have another dangerous glade. This is a much bigger map. Oh my god, there's all kinds of dangerous glades. Interesting. actually not doing so great this time. Look at the Queen's impatience. During the tutorial, our reputation was way ahead of her impatience. We're still ahead now, but not by very much. Oh, enable meat in the jerky recipe? What? Jerky. jerky and smokehouse. Okay. See, they need to make this stuff more clear. <laughs> I could have been done that order a long time ago if it had emphasized things a little better. Okay, guys. Ads are in progress. I'll be right back. Feral ghoul horde? This is not the arrangement I have with you guys. When I shoot, you die. That's the deal. to do it. I think I'm gonna do it, guys. No! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? Who designed this vessel? Sorry. 
it's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right, lots of things going wrong. My airport is still on fire. What the hell? Okay. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then, I used my cleverness to hide. One less machine. That's Gerd. Oh. You're not up. Vampire. Oh, that was cool. I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. Time till detonation. Oh. I forgot that detail. We're on a timer. This place. <laughs> And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please. Yes, please uh. clip that. Oh my god! <laughs> Now I'm gonna put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to... Uh, wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Bree once more. My driven acquaintance. She's my acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine, the foul fiend. Wow. This game is not so much a war game as a drama game. Holy crap. She's not considered my spouse anymore. Okay. Okay, how are we doing? We got 10 jerky in the smokehouse, and that happened real quick. Hopefully we get some more done pretty fast so that we can get that order taken care of. We don't want the Queen's impatience catching up to our resolve. Highly impressed with your talents at making buildings catch fire in skylines? I mean, honestly, it's not as hard as you might make it out to be.
clearing is still going pretty good. They're making really good progress down here. I'm really happy about that. Cornerstone. No one can weather the storm alone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. Choose wisely as you won't be able to change it. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves? I... No. Let's go with nets. <laughs> Cannibalism, I know, right? camp has no deposits nearby. Uh, okay, we've got a couple deposits up here. So we will move you right there. barrels in the ale recipe. Ale in brewery. Rewards, pack of mushrooms, barrels, box of planks, and Queen's Grace. on getting this glade. Now, we need to enable... What is it we need to enable? Enable barrels in the ale recipe. small, worm tongue nest small. Let's see if this can take advantage of any of this stuff here.
read more of food. Your villagers need to eat in order to survive. Every few minutes they will go on a break, gather around the hearth, and try to get something edible from the warehouse. If nothing they like is available, like pickled goods for beavers, they will eat raw food. If there is no food whatsoever, villagers will get one stack of the hunger effect. Each stack works as a resolve penalty, and if the resolve of a species reaches zero, they will start leaving the settlement. Each species can only withstand a certain number of hunger attacks before dying of starvation. To see the exact number of stacks a species can survive, go to the Species section in the Encyclopedia and look for the Hunger Tolerance attribute. For example, a human has a hunger tolerance of 6, which means they will die after, the seventh, after 7 breaks in a row without consuming any food. Even if you grow vegetables on your farms, the amount of food you produce will soon become insufficient for a growing population. The solution is to process raw food and thus multiply it as most recipes yield more goods than the raw ingredients used to produce them. Some perks can further increase that ratio or even generate additional food as a byproduct. It really is X-Wing. I'm loving this so far. It's really good. I mean, I would love it just for the atmosphere alone. But... Harvester's Camp has no deposits nearby. Jeez, this thing is... We really need more. Fine. Deactivate again. love it for the atmosphere alone just because I am such a big fan of rain in games but man it's really just interesting all around as well there we go that should open this up This seems to be a really good time for this type of city builder, because there's quite a few that I've got my eye on that I want to try. Small abandoned goods cache. Resin and basket of berries, or send to the citadel, which might not be the worst idea. Queen's grace and amber pouch. Flax. That means we can move this down here and it will have resources to take advantage of again.
10 of 20 alien breweries, so we're getting there. Okay, I think we need to move our small trapper's camp. Or do we? Yeah, I think we do. Let's move you over here. That clears up a little bit of space up here, so I'm going to put in a little more housing. It's interesting how sometimes multiple games with the same themes come out close to each other. I think this type of game specifically has been kind of on the rise for a while. Oh, it's not close enough. Put you there. Orders ready to complete. A place for rest. Tavern. A place where villagers can fulfill their need for leisure luxury. Passive effects. Gleeman's Tales. Need for leisure fulfilled. Fulfill your villagers need for leisure 20 times. services. This reminds me a bit of the old settler games from the olden times. It's actually funny you mention that. There's another game that's very similar to this that I want to play, and it's not part of the settler series, but it's by the creator of the original settlers games, and it's a spiritual successor. Let me just see if I can figure out what the name of the game is. I kind of waffled between getting that one and this one. I went with this one because I love the atmosphere of it. But um, where is it? I believe Hunter is playing it right now. It's called Pioneers of Begonia. And it looks really good. It's an early access. And I think we're going to try that one soonish. We 
doing down here. We're clearing quite a lot of land here, which is good. I think we're going to move this one, though. I'm going to put this up here. So I want to start getting some of this stuff. Actually, I need to focus a little bit more on opening that. Pioneers looks very lovely, yep. Plus, of course, we're not done with City Skylines 2, and we're not done with Anno 1800 either. They've actually stated that they're not going to work on DLC for Skylines 2 just yet. They're focused much more right now on bringing performance up to the level that um, they would consider to be acceptable based on community feedback and their own internal testing and all that. Blueprint time. They actually just released a huge update the other day, so I think maybe tomorrow we might do some skylines and check that out because I'm very curious to see how that goes. Lizard house, beaver house, human house. We'll go lizard houses. Lizards are happy. When they say you have to build multiple villages, that's probably what they're talking about. I, we're too far away from the... Wait, is that from the warehouse or the hearth? No, that looks like it's centered on the hearth. Interesting.
cornerstone. Ancient artifact. A strange device left behind by the great civilization. When soaked in rainwater, it radiates warm light and brings encouragement to those around it. Or salted jerky. Plus five to salted jerky to jerky production. Gain additional jerky every yield from gathering, farming, or production. I think I'd like the ancient artifact. Orders ready to complete. So humans are happy as well now. Humans resolve. Keep humans above resolve above 25 for 30 seconds. Mold supply. Bundle of reeds. Lovely. Complete. You proved your worth by securing this settlement. Ooh, level two. New Citadel upgrades. Rain Collector. Can collect rainwater used for crafting and powering rain engines in production buildings. The type of collected rainwater depends on the season. Has a tank capacity of 50. Herbalist camp and advanced camp can gather large and giant resource nodes in addition to small ones. Can collect herbs, berries, and mushrooms. Mine can only be placed on coal and ore veins. Digs up copper, ore, and coal. Flame amulets. An artifact infused with the power of the holy flame. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by four. Crowded houses. All houses have room for one more villager. Rich glades. Newly discovered resource nodes have more charges. Plus 5 for small deposits and plus 15 for large deposits. This is very cool. Uh, let's see. Food stockpiles. Oh my god. Small trapper's camp. Small. Okay, yeah, that's. Man. The world is a vast, ever-changing place, and at its heart lies the smoldering city. Enter the smoldering city and use the resources you've gathered so far to buy the Obsidian Archive Level 1 Upgrade. Gate level 1, Obsidian Archive level 3, wait, oh, holy crap. You gain a permanent minus 2% to the speed at which the Queen's impatience grows. A place where records about great viceroys are kept, unlocks deeds. Obsidian Archive level 2. Permanent minus 2% to the speed at which Queen's Impatience grows. More Citadel Resources. You gain plus 10% more Citadel Resources whenever you finish a settlement. Or I can get Monastery of the Vigilant Flame. Everlasting Flames. Based stat, you gain a permanent 2% reduction to fuel consumption in hearths. Embarkation Bonus Stone. You gain a new Embarkation Bonus to choose from when starting a settlement. Stone. Embarkation Bonus Clay. You gain a new embarkation bonus to choose from when starting a new settlement. Clay. Um, I think I'm going to take that one. So now we know what these are good for. Man, I love this.
This world is governed by the eternal blight storm cycle. It is almost upon us, so no caravans are allowed to embark. Press the button in the lower right corner of the screen to finish the cycle. Years left before the next blightstone, blightstorm zero. The blightstorm is coming. Your settlements have been abandoned and people are returning to the settlement, to the citadel. Successful towns, zero, or two. Failed towns, zero. Total seal fragments, none. Spent seal fragments, none. Positive modifiers finished. Negative modifiers finished, none. So just basically two successful towns and that's it. Experience gained this cycle, 30. Unlocked content, Obsidian Archive 1 and 2. No seal contracts. Okay. Your goal as a viceroy is to reach the ancient seals with your caravan and reforge them, pushing back the blightstorm. You're almost ready to venture out on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embarkation range to begin. An undiscovered point of interest. Once discovered, it may turn out to be a world event or modifier. Oh, I guess my embarkation zone is here. Royal Outpost. The proximity to a Royal Outpost makes it easier to communicate with the Crown. The pool of order choices will increase by one. To embark, you must first choose a caravan that will become the foundation of your town's population. So we can start with seven humans or we can start with four beavers and two lizard people. I'm gonna go with these guys. Name your settlement. Next, choose a difficulty. The higher the risk, the greater the reward, but beware, an inexperienced viceroy won't last long on the highest, higher difficulties. Let's bump it up a little bit to Pioneer. More reputation required to win. Recommended for players who already know the rules of the game well and like a medium challenge. What are we gonna call it? We'll just call it the library. Lastly, use all of your embarkation points to take extra goods with you. You are finally ready to embark on your own. Remember, there is always a way out. Experiment and adapt. May the storm be gentle on you, Viceroy. Outpost. The proximity of a royal outpost makes it easier to communicate with the crown. The pool of order choices will increase by one. Gathering knowledge. The marshlands are a gatherer's paradise. Gathering speed is increased by 10% for every two workers assigned to gathering camps. Bonus does not affect the woodcutter's camp. Giant organisms. The marshlands are home to enormous life forms. Giant resource nodes can be found in forbidden glades. Each glade will have a different one. Gift from the Woods, Forest Mystery Simple. These seem to be the ideal conditions in which to create amber. Gain 5 amber every drizzle season, plus an additional 5 amber for each hostility level reached. Regrowth. Plants seem to grow exceptionally fast after the storm. All buildings using fertile soil produce plus 50% more goods during drizzle season. Crops collected during clearance also benefit from this effect. 
looming darkness. The rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures. An additional stack of this effect is added for each hostility level. Under an open sky. Lack of shelter during such a malevolent storm is simply gross neglect of villagers. Hunger storm. Missing even a single meal in this harsh climate can be deadly. If villagers don't have anything to eat during a break, they will gain two stacks of the hunger effect. Unnatural erosion. The wind and rain in this region seem more destructive than usual. Pay five oil with each storm, multiplied by the number of years played. If you don't, two random resource nodes will be destroyed. Wow. Okay. Uh... Snake nest. Holy crap. Look at this biome. Dangerous glade. So there's a lot of choice and effects even before you start building. There are. The more I play this game, the more I really like it. Use nearby farm fields to produce roots and herbs. Grain, root, and vegetable, meat, insects, eggs. Uh, I'm going to take this as a source of grain without necessarily needing humans to farm. Not that lizard people and beavers can't farm, but humans are particularly good at it. Oh, wait. We can... We can vote. I just noticed we can do the Twitch stuff. Lumber mill, brickyard, or kiln, guys. I like that it's cozy and slow, but still challenges the gray cells, yeah. So you guys are really liking the lumber mill so far. Oh, look at that. I don't have a choice. I have to go with you guys. That's fun. Bakery, rain mill, or provisioner. I don't know if there's a lot of point to getting the bakery without a rain mill or provisioner that can produce flour. It seems like the biscuits and pie would require flour. I might be wrong about that. Vote's almost over, guys. Vote quick if you're gonna. There we go. Rain mill it is. Okay. Looks like we've got a couple of relatively safe glades over here. Oh my god, we're surrounded by so many dangerous ones. Let's do a woodcutter's camp right here. like we're going to need some shelter.
Arnlor is now a forest guardian. Type join forest or join town to join a faction. Type leave to er, exclamation point leave to exit. Each faction has three forest guardians. Count members. Guardians. Poison depletes food. Hunger decreases hostility. Increases hostility. Chance lower events. Wham. This ends well for you. and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of one item every 30 seconds? Thanks. Thanks, Aranar. That's very kind of you. Applied by one of your viewers? Big delivery. Building materials packed for delivery used for fulfilling orders and trading. Produced by flawless rain mill tank for a rain mill makeshift post. Have at least six lizards for 30 seconds. Complete any one glade event. I think we're gonna just go with big delivery. Crops packed for delivery used for fulfilling orders and trading. Produced by Flawless Brewery, Granary Brewery. You can't really do that one. Keep Lizards Resolve above 10 for 30 seconds. Value of Goods Sold. Dangerous Glade Events Completed. Three Packs. Building Materials. Crops and provisions. I'm not going to take that one just yet. Not sure if the council can have non-viewers. Uh, what else do we need? Stone cutter camp? Do we have stone? I'm not sure if we actually have stone. That could be a problem. What do we do with these? What are these? Snake nest. A dangerous but rich resource of food and leather requires a camp with... X-Wing sits on the Council of Elders. Aranlor is now a forest guardian. Choose a cornerstone. Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level gained. Expected gain, 0%. Specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production increases by plus one every 25 times as produced. I would assume a tie would allow me to choose, instead of forcing me to go with the chat's choice. like we get to find out. Yeah, so I get to choose.
I'll go grain bags and hope that there's a way to take advantage of it somehow. I'm not sure what to do about these snake nests. Plant fiber, reed, grain, root, vegetable, herbs, bear. Oh, it's herbalist camp that do mushrooms. I was wondering about that last time. Oh, it's a trapper camp that deals with these. Okay. Then we're going to put one of those in. The trees seem to move closer and closer. Hostility is increased by 15 points. Thanks. A prayer to the sacred flame and the queen herself. Workers have a 5% higher chance of producing double yields. I appreciate that one very much. Oh my god. What the heck? It actually assigns you guys to be characters if you're in the Council of Elders. That's very cool. show up as a baddie somewhere? Maybe. Who knows? Staffed, right? Yes, we do. Station rain collector is probably a really good idea, actually. Swamp wheat field, leech brood mother, and copper vein. camp will do it.
Not as good as the Gleeman's Tale, but it did its job. Plus one to Global Resolve. Granted by one of your viewers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You need to keep an eye on your orders in this mode once you're out of the tutorial. Recipes. Building materials pack for delivery used for fulfilling orders and trading. So I do need a makeshift post or a rain mill. And I think I need planks and fabric for that, which means we need more stuff. Um, crude work shift uh, workshop thing will probably do. Three minute warning guys, we have another break coming up in three minutes. This will be a slightly longer break. I'm gonna make myself some tea. The cute whimsical art style hides a complex game, it really does. I'm becoming so much more impressed with it every minute, basically. More copper. Leech brood mother small. Leather and meat. I think there was some of that down here too. Oh, there is. Okay. Now, what do we need for this? We're short on wood. Maybe I should get another woodcutter. running out of things that I can safely harvest. It is very cool. It is providing wood. I was afraid for a moment it wouldn't be. Reputation bonus. Clothier can produce coats, water skins, scrolls. Brewery can produce ale, pickled goods, and pack of crops. Cookhouse can produce skewers, biscuits, and pigment. Oh, I should not have done that. I have to take my break shortly. Let me just really quickly snooze. I can use clearance water. Twenty seconds left on the vote, guys. Clothier, brewery, or cookhouse.
And done. We're going with Clothier. All right, guys. This looks like it's going to be a very good point for me to take my break at. So because I am making tea, it's going to be a slightly longer break instead of three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. It'll be more like six to eight minutes. So if you need to get up, grab some food, uh, get a snack, whatever you got to do, maybe a drink, this is a really good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here very shortly. What? What? Oh. Excuse me. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. There we go. Oh. There we now we there we go. I bet you I can use this. Still got it. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. Oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! See you later, best friends. Oh god, thank you, Greeny. <laughs> I'll keep that as a healing reserve. I just chose the one set with the... Uh... Oh god damn it, Greeny. <laughs> oh my god, I just emptied my frickin' inventory. How am I already overburdened again? Hang on, hang on. We need to examine this air. Oh. So uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi-Wan. Wow. Two for one, I love it. I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my Jeep back? What the what happened there? 
quickly, guys. Yeah. Drop, the anchor. Drop the anchor. I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Did, did somebody drop the anchor finally? Or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, sorry for um, that. Now oh, we can yeah. something. So we're gonna clip of that one. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could do this. You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking you of... You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> oh no, what the hell? Oh crap. And Stara, what the hell are you doing here? Oh crap. Oop. <laughs> Synthetic stomach, huh? Oh, good. And Stara, you would be the one that does medical stuffs. Uh oh. Um, Aranor has failed catastrophically while operating on Anstara. Skill trainer. <laughs> uh, is that a hint? Aranor. Use skill trainer to learn medical. <laughs> oh boy. Aaron Lar failed in a minor way while operating on Anstara. <laughs> Two synthetic stomachs. You're really determined, aren't you? There we go. You're all fixed up now, Anstara. For science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. Wow, not bad. Oh. This. I'm a little nervous. Wow. Be 
Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. Ugh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. Oh, shoot. I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. So I'm kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us: it's that life uh, finds a way. Well, I'm dead. It doesn't seem to be able to get me. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. I might also be stuck. Whoops. Okay, I am back, folks. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? It's good to see you. Yo, you got the peeling clip, did you? I'm very sorry. All right, guys. It is about time now for us to take a look at doing the last few days <coughs> of the Advent calendar. Uh, the most recent few days, that is, not the last few days. We're still a while away from getting to the end of it. Let me just shove all these things over here. I have a growing collection of little minifig stuff. Thank you, Aaron Arm. So, let's get our overhead cam in place. Now, what's the date today? It's the 15th. So, we need to do number 15, number 14, and number 13. So, we'll start with 13. That's this one. 14 is here. We'll do that next. This one looks like a minifig. And 15 is over here. So let me put that there. I'm going to have to fix the lights and the iPad. So just give me a moment here. Uh, so what do we do? Oh, uh, next page. 13. Yeah, so it looks like we are going to be building a... <laughs> we're building another Imperial shuttle, then we're building Leia from Endor, and we're building a little mini Ewok village. That's really cool. Okay, next. I need to be able to actually see what I'm doing. Okay. We start with the shuttle for day 13 of the advent calendar. Okay, so... Oh. This 
a little transparent blue piece stuck inside this piece. Uh, that's awkward. How am I going to separate them? There isn't anything in there, is there? No. I don't know if you can see that. That's going to make it problematic to use this piece. I don't know if I have anything that I can get that removed with. Oh, actually. I almost need something to pry it out with. I don't think this is going to be solid enough. Hmm. I've got two options. I can try to find something to fish that out with, or it looks like they gave me a spare, and it looks like I've managed to shove it back far enough that I could just leave it inside. I think for purposes of building, I might try to fish it out later, but we'll just build and I'll use the spare because it looks like I only need one. Uh, so this is another one where the instructions are not entirely clear on what it is I'm trying to do. Oh, you know what? I think that might be just a one by three, in which case we're probably okay. So that would go here, and that would go here. That goes there. I need another one of these. This will go here. That will attach there. And this one here. So that's the wings. Then I get one of these here. And this attaches here. That goes on there. And that goes there. Get one of these here. Oh, come on. Nope. There we go. This is where we use the blue piece. It goes in there squares up a bit. And I think this goes across the top back here. And this would go here. This part goes right there. This piece with the blue bit lodged inside it that I'll have to remove later goes here. This goes right there. That 
goes there. Like that. That goes there. And attach some guns to the wings because apparently Imperial shuttles have guns that we didn't know about. I certainly don't remember building them on the full scale or the bigger scale, but there we go. They have guns in the wing route? Okay. I didn't realize that, actually. That's pretty fun. That's a very cool little model. I'll have to fish that other piece out of there later on. And they've given me a number of other spare bits. I can go into my growing collection of miscellaneous bits and bobs. Next... We have the Leia minifig. Oh, it's a little bit bright for you guys, isn't it? Oop. That's slightly better. <clears throat> okay. We start with the legs. We attach the torso. And the head. Then the hair. And then she gets a gun. Ugh, come on. She doesn't want to take the gun. There we go. And I don't know what that is in her hand. It's I guess this thing, but how the heck? Oh, it actually does attach to her hand. Okay. There we go. I don't know what that's supposed to be. A cookie or something, maybe? Leave the gun, but take the cannoli. Definitely. You know, I had cannoli for the very first time ever a few months back. I'd never had one before. I had an extra gun. I can put that in my collection too. All right. So for this, it looks like this is the basis. And then we're going to start attaching stuff. So that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. And then it's not very clear about where exactly it attaches, but it's also probably not super duper important. Uh, 
call of God. So I'll give it a tripod base, and then if I've got enough pieces left over, I might add a fourth support. <coughs> and we build this up above it. Can you guys see? You can kind of see, except for my hands. So we're building this up. Oh, wait a minute. That's wrong. We need this in here. Ah! Okay, you know what? The legs can go on last. Because they're getting in the way. That goes there. And then this one's a little bit different. We need this. So that this goes here. Then... that and that goes there so we get some height variation likewise this seems to go here then there Yeah, there. Yeah. This is one of the most awkward builds I've ever had to do. What the heck? There we go. Now I think I'm supposed to put these on. Okay, so we've got this. And now it's just this. We attach this here. We square it up. And this ah, breaks the entire thing. There we go. A tiny little Ewok village playset. Ah, that really, really wants to fall off at every opportunity. So I'm probably not going to touch this one very much. And there we go. We're all caught up. All right.
right. Back to the game. Also, let me just... Fix my lighting. There we are. Okay. needs fuel, coal, wood, coal, and oil for the hearth. Build more woodcutter camps and assign more woodcutters. That's probably a good idea, honestly. We only do have the one right now. down so we get it a little bit faster. Oh, hang on. Cornerstone. Deserted caravans. Global production speed is 33% faster, but traders will arrive 50% slower. Farsight. Scouting ahead makes it easier to prepare for the worst. Discovering a small glade increases the working speed of scouts investigating dangerous or forbidden glade events by 50% for 180 seconds. vote because I'm not sure I can choose this one we 
have a vote in progress, guys. We are choosing a cornerstone. Deserted caravans, where global production speed is faster by a third, but we get 50% slower traders, or Farsight. Which, honestly... <clears throat> I'm not sure which is better. But I guess we're going with Farsight. Okay. Yes, X-Wing. Cannolis are pretty good. Newcomers are waiting. We don't have any humans. Let's get some humans. Oh, we do have some humans. What the heck? Oh, these are not the population numbers. These are the population numbers. Got it. Okay. Cancel this for now. Let's get them to open this up, then we'll go with that one. Come on, open it up. You know you want to. Oh, oh, we got it. What is this? Warrior. Gex Runescale, the Shaman. The Holy Flame bless you, Viceroy. May I offer you some of my wares? Incense, planks, bricks, fabric, resin, pigment, meat. He's got a lot of amber. sure I want to do any trading. I don't know the game well enough yet. to do 15 ambers worth? Thank you. 
Plus 62, Jesus. Have a good one, X-Wing. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. There we go. Deliver 20 wine. Deliver 15 pottery. 10 packs of trade goods. 10 packs of provisions. Humans resolve. 20 grain. I think I can pick that one. Encampment level 1. Have at least two hearths upgraded to level encamp- Wait, you can upgrade stuff? Oh my god. At least four comfort decorations have to be built within range of this hearth to raise its level. So there's gameplay effects for decorations. That's kind of wild. At least eight villagers have to be housed within range of this hearth. Okay, so next I guess we need more housing. No, wait a minute. We've already got that, don't we? Four comfort decorations. We should have way more than enough housing here. Let me upgrade. More can be unlocked in the smoldering city. can be upgraded by building homes, decorations, service buildings within their range. Each level will grant you bonuses to resolve production speed and production output. These bonuses stack with each hearth in your settlement.
This looks like I meet all the requirements. Does it not? Stone deposit. <clears throat> Stone cutters camp would be good then. We're going after this dangerous glade. We'll have to see what happens. or small farm. Use a small number of farm fields nearby to produce vegetables and grain. Berries and plant fiber, roots and herbs. I'm gonna go with the small farm. Might be a mistake. got any fertile soil that I can take advantage of. Oh well. camps we need. I'll put one of these in here.
just gonna go for it. We're gonna try and get this and see what happens. And maybe it'll backfire and blow up in my face. But that's the risk you take. there. Come on, guys. Open it up. Let's see what we get. Oh, my God. Come on, just one more tree should do it. Falling behind, the queen's impatience is getting worse than our progress. Ah, uh, are you serious? That tree didn't do it? This could be a lost shipment or something much more valuable. Break open. Chest of ancient tablets. Crate of clay. Steel pickaxes. Okay, we have to break this open. We also need to assign workers, which means I need to unassign somebody. Investigate, and then we've got this blood flower, the dangerous blade event. A deadly carrion organism that feeds on decaying matter. It spreads through contaminated rainwater and multiplies with time, becoming more and more dangerous. Blood flowers are a source of extremely rare resources. We have 10 minutes and 22 seconds to deal with it. The odor of blood flowers is making people feel sick. Minus three to global resolve. Mitosis. Blood flowers have a tendency to spread uncontrollably. Uh, decaying food. Cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of two items every 12 seconds. It is active only when the corresponding glade event is being worked on. So this is a really terrible time to have this since Aaron Lore is poisoning us too. I need to... I need to take a few people off this duty here. You lizard guys, you can work on the blood flower for me, please. Oh, you're not poisoning right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. You are angering, yes. An eerie, mesmerizing melody. Scouts work 10% slower on Glade events, thanks. Oh. Another large abandoned cache. We'll do this one first.
just over a minute left. Half done. Oh, shoot, we need stone for this, so there's no point in having these people assigned. I need a stone cutting camp. Choose a cornerstone. Local taxes. Villagers are willing to give you their very last piece of amber just for a pint of decent ale. Gain 12 amber for every 50 ale produced. Or secure trail. Royal Stormwalkers secured the trail to your settlement. Newcomers will arrive 25% quicker. I'm not letting you vote on that one. I'm taking it. You'd have gone for the second? Yeah. We're not actually producing ale at the moment, so it seems logical. Okay, we need to move this uh, woodcutters. Hey! Look what I see. This glade contains a threat, but it also gives plenty of rewards in return. Instead of I'm in danger, it's I'm a danger. Yes, you are. Hey, wait a minute. What happened? Why? What? Newcomers. I'll take those ones, actually. Oh, we need more stone. Oh, it's still there because they're clearing out the resources as our reward now. That's pretty wild. I like it. The queen's getting very impatient. Uh -huh. Need 
to start working on that grain. Three minute warning, folks. We have a break coming up in about three minutes. Highly concentrated green drizzle rainwater used to power rain engines in food oriented buildings. take you off that and put you here. Uh -huh. Now I can't help but note that our food now has lost its red down arrow. I'm going to take that as a good thing. Build or salvage ruins, deliver 10 packs of provisions, value of goods sold, harmony, have at least 10 harmony decorations. That one seems like it's doable. Aesthetics, have at least 15 aesthetics decorations. Okay, so now we know there are different types of uh, decorations. Lost knowledge, deliver three ancient tablet. I can get that one. to go take my break now folks so if you need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something this is a very good time to do it i'll meet you back here in three and a half to five because this is just a regular break here. Catch. oh that didn't work try again will you come on you got a shot nope 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 nope, nope not you There we go. That's better. Thank you. I'm in RimWorld. So, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Oh my... Oh my god. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Arch enemy discovered. Okay. Oh my god. 
god! Holy crap, guys! The 30th Anniversary Edition! Oh my god, I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this, can you... This is unbelievable. I thought I had footsteps. Be careful. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? we go finally so apparently standing on the back of his hand alone is enough to do it would not have guessed at that ah you <laughs> the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Don't hunt Loke! Oh my god, she... She hunted Locust and killed her. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. Click back into the game and let the music get going again. Okay, so we survived a dangerous glade. That's a good thing. I don't even know how to make bricks. Rain collector, lumber mill, clothier, rain mill. Ah, oh, the mine makes bricks. Or no, wait, that is the mine. Um, pack of crops, pack of provisions. Deeds. Oh, finish your first game after the tutorial. Discover ten glades. First real expedition. Win a game in the Royal Woodlands biome and on settler difficulty or higher. Orders from the Queen. Complete ten orders. Trade goods worth 50 amber. Thank you, Aralar. Fifteen. Okay, so we're getting there. Tea, parts, wildfire essence, and light timber. This one we might send to the crown. But I'm gonna wait till this one's done first. 
Small Trapper's camp has no deposits nearby. Those are large nests. I don't think it's capable of processing those. That's a problem. Uh, okay, it can work up here, though. Oh, and there are more eggs over here. But we'll process this first. Getting from this one, chest of ancient tablets, which will let us complete an or like a, a mission. Crate of clay, steel pickaxes, and bundle of herbs. Till it gets transported back. Water skins, fabric, and pigment can use clearance water. Cookhouse can produce skewers, biscuits, and pigment can use drizzle water. I think we're going with cookhouse. Oh, it's a big sucker.
See, I wish I knew why this one wasn't green. At least eight villagers have to be housed within range of this hearth to raise its level. I guess I could try building another home. Makeshift post. Do I need to produce packs of props for any of my orders here? Building materials. Grain. Harmony. Oh, harmony decorations. We can be working on those. Bacon, welcome on in. This I'm. This is my first time playing it. I am loving it. I love city builders just in general, but this one is. I mean, it's got so much going on, and yet I'm not finding it too overwhelming to learn it. It's really seriously impressive, and I just love the ambiance. I'm kind of a sucker for rain in games. The sound is one of the most soothing sounds ever. So. Really, really big thumbs up from me on this one. down for these harmony decorations, but I can't build them. Aesthetics, 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 comfort. Yeah, unfortunately, that mission I've got to build the, the harmony, they all require bricks. I don't know if I'm even capable of building bricks yet. Planks, scrolls, pack of trade goods. Building materials. Can only be placed on... Yeah, okay. Um, crude workstation can produce bricks. I think I've got at least one of those, don't I? We need clay for it, though. Crap. Guess what I don't have any resources of. I might not have a choice. I think we have to go pay you a visit, Aranlar. And hope that we unlock some clay up here.
cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of one item every 30 seconds. Wow. Thanks, Aaron. Long. Appreciate that. I gotta try and remember that there are alternatives. We can make stone brick. That is super good to know. And we have a mine. not going to be very productive because we've only got one person to put in there, but that's okay. Choose a cornerstone. Protected trade. The forest recedes as heavily guarded trade caravans pour into the settlement. Hostility is reduced by 10 points every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. Oh, crap. Deserted caravans. Global production speed is 33% faster, but traders will arrive 50% slower. I think we're going to do that because I need the boost. two hearths upgraded to level encampment. Maybe I can turn that one in, perhaps, if... Where are we? materials but we're making the materials now so we can probably set up another hearth shortly I hope clear that passageway. we 
got that going on. I want to see if we can put in one more fire shrine. Ah, no, we're missing a bit of fabric. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? Grass cap mushrooms, snake nest small, snake nest, nest large, coal veins, large abandoned cache, stone tooth termite burrow, an aggressive parasitic species able to eat and digest even the hardest materials. I have 13 minutes to deal with this one. We can burn it down or we can tame it. A contained stone tooth termite burrow gives insects every minute, counts as four decorations of its type and its harmony. Pack of roots, pa basket of eggs, crate of stone. I'm gonna try taming. We need to free up some workers though. Can I just say, I really appreciate that they give you the option to not just burn it down, but to tame it if you prefer. That's really cool. Small Trapper's Camp has no deposits nearby. Well, we just opened up a couple, so that's not a big problem anymore. Actually, you know what? I don't think I need that. This one can work all of those together. And that gives me more people. by Toolsmith, Tool Shop, Vinesmith, Carpenter, Smithy, Tinkerer, and Scribe. I might not be able to tame it. I think we're going to have to... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to burn it down. Hmm. 
No, we can tame it. We have to use parts, though. Tavern, a place where villagers can fulfill their need for leisure, luxury, passive effects, gleeman's tales. Human house, building specifically made for humans, has to be built near a hearth, can house two residents. Temple, a place where villagers can fulfill their need for religion, education, passive effects, sacrament of the flame. I'm going to vote for this one, guys. We have a poll running. If you would like to vote for the tavern, the human house, or the temple, just, uh, you know, do the poll thing. About half a minute left, guys. Right now, you are leaning towards the human house. Don't forget to keep track of your food. It is. We've got a bit of a stockpile, but you are not wrong. Human house it is. Oh, you're back to poisoning, are you? Do I have a lumber yard yet? I do have a lumber mill. No. I stand corrected. I do not. Crude workstation should be capable of making fabric, though. Um, we'll have to use leather for it. Oh my god, that is draining so quickly. Crap. Happy humans, deliver. Expensive delivery. 15 packs of building materials, 20 packs of trade goods. Pastries. Need for pie fulfilled. Fulfill your villagers' need for eating pie 50 times. Need for biscuits fulfilled. Or we can go 20 pack of luxury goods. Created at the press, the artisan, and the carpenter. Ugh, none of these look especially great. I mean, they look great. They just don't look great in terms of doability. Lumber mill, a 
Okay, this one, expensive delivery, I think I can do that one. It might take a while. The Queen's Envoy, the Crown sends you new orders, Viceroy. Uh, okay. New clothes. Have at least 14 villagers with the clothing need fulfilled for 120 seconds. Varied delivery. 15 packs of trade goods. That one's similar to the other one. 40 scrolls. I think we're going to do clothes because we can theoretically build a clothier soon. Okay, we, we have to get this we have to get this lumber mill done. That is right now becoming our biggest hold up. Woodcutters camp. I think we're gonna move you. You can go here. Large abandoned cache. Parts, wildfire essence, steel shovels. Plus one to clay production. That's fantastic. Now, if only I had clay to produce. Uh, what's, we still had a cache over here. Looks like this one's finished. Um... Oh, we were going to send this one to the Citadel. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Tea, parts, wildfire essence, and light timber. Maybe I need another person on this job. <laughs> Reputation bonus. Provisioner can produce flour, barrels, pack of provisions. Can use clearance water. Killed can produce coal, bricks, and jerky. Can you... <laughs> jerky at a kill? I guess... That kind of makes sense. Uh, can use storm water. Smokehouse can produce jerky, pottery, and incense using drizzle water, which I believe we do have a source of drizzle water. So I might as well go with the smokehouse. We are equipped for that one. Newcomers. Four humans and three lizards with 45 eggs, or three beavers and five humans with stone, berries, and reed. Mm. I'm undecided. Both of those look good for different reasons. So let's vote on it. Group one or group two? Let's 
still doesn't have your favorite race in it? What's that? Harpies? I think those have to be unlocked at higher levels, if I'm not mistaken. They would be the two that I don't... one of the two that I don't know about. There we go. defeated. A new forest guardian can awaken 60 seconds. That is very cool. Now I wonder where you are now. Oh, you moved over a spot. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we don't have enough people. shelter, maybe. Sits on the Council of Elders. Very cool. There you are. The council can be very persuasive. Villagers with low resolve will leave the town 20% slower. Thank you. Oh, hey. We have a lumber mill. We can get planks. Amazing. Stone. Generous gifts. Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% more goods with them for every hearth level gained. Expected gain plus 40% this time. Or cannibalism. No. Now, 
what are we waiting on here? Just planks? So the human house... Oh, I didn't realize the human house required planks. I guess we'll be getting those soon enough, though. Now that we finally have our lumber mill done. I just love how that sounds. Human house? Yes. Now, how are we doing for city buildings? Can we actually build a hearth yet? I'm going to put the build order in. I can't. Never mind. I love that animation of the log rolling down and getting dragged in. It's great. Alright, we still have to build that clothier as well. to keep an eye on what's producing what using what in this game. Man, I would love to get my hands on some clay. That would be a dream.
Forbidden Glade. The Crown sends a warning about this glade. It's very dangerous and requires a lot of resources to explore, but will contain great amounts of treasure. Tools and meat. Three beavers, three humans. Or two beavers and four humans coming with copper bar. Let's go with that one. Small Trapper's Camp has no deposits nearby. Mine has no available ore. That would be a problem. Oh, and I can't just move the mine either. Well, if that's the case... change the mine type. We've also got another one up here we could do. But right now I think coal looks pretty good because we are dropping fuel pretty fast. Oh, hey, they're building a human house. Trapper's camp. Oh, you're out of stuff too. Um, okay, this can do its work over here. I think this one might be SOL though. the storm. Oh, and we need more people as well. More housing. Just gonna put up a regular shelter, I think. Lizards and beavers resolve is low. High hostility. Oh no.
here, so. decorations. I might be able to build some of those now. Looks like we're making some good progress on this uh, expensive delivery, though. We still need 20 packs of trade goods, though. Utopia. Need for jerky fulfilled. Need for pie fulfilled. Need for skewers fulfilled. Trade and luxury. Trade goods and luxury goods. I can't do any of those yet. Wood and provisions. 15 packs of... I can do this one. It's probably a bad time for doing it with the uh, high hostility, but we'll see what happens. Cut through the forest to discover three glades. Discover two ancient tablets. Dangerous glade events completed. Master of Exploration. Forbidden glades in time. Discover two forbidden glades at an interval of 450 seconds. Progress will reset if the time between discoveries exceeds the limit. Lizard majority. Have at least 18 lizards for 30 seconds. I think I've got 17 right now. I think we've got to do this one. Choose a cornerstone. Survivor bonding. The people in your settlement have survived many hardships, bringing them closer together. Plus 10% villager speed and one global resolve. Ancient pact. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills one villager. Wow. Three minute warning, guys. We're gonna be taking our final break in about three minutes. Actually, you know what? Hold that thought for a moment. I want to snooze this as long as I can. Eh, okay. I might have to wrap up about five minutes earlier, but now we can get pretty close to six o'clock without needing another break. Let's go survivor bonding. This is a tough game, but it's really fun. I'm really loving this.
Oh, the mine is finished. Yeah. Well, then. So we seem to have weathered the increased hostility pretty well. Let's take a look at some of those harmony decorations. Looks like I can build some. I'm going to put one in there. I'm just not going to overload them with too many build requests, I think. Five of ten required. Thirty six of eight. How? What? Heck, but how do I upgrade? What the heck? I really want to upgrade this and it's not allowing it. It's so annoying. Newcomers. Seventy vegetables. Six tools. Twenty-eight meat. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. I think we need more housing, though. I think we we got to put in some more road. Oh shoot, we're getting out of bounds of the hearth. That's not great. like I actually oh wait a minute yeah it looks like I fulfilled the requirements 
by a long shot. Like, we're supposed to have eight citizens nearby, living nearby, to unlock level two. I've got 43, and I still can't do it. Fishmen Cave. It looks abandoned, but what if it's not? A terrible fishy smell comes from within. Bribe. The decision is marked as corruption. Your choice here can influence certain perks, orders, etc. Chase away. Loyalty. The de decision is marked as loyalty. Your choice here can influence certain perks, etc. Should be level one currently. Level one encampment. Oh, you can't really. Yeah, you can't see it as well as I can. I'm kind of in the way. But it is level one. Oh, two and three require brass forge. Okay, so that's what it means by you can unlock more in the uh, the city. So I just can't upgrade it, period, right now. Got it. Need brass forge one? Okay. At least that makes sense. Thank you that there and we're gonna build some more housing foragers camp has no deposits nearby That's just getting deactivated. Oh, hang on. Leather, box of planks. That would actually be really nice. I 
Fishman Totem appeared nearby. Forest hostility is temporarily increased by 30 points. Oh god. Tonberry, how's it going? You're just coming in at the end. I'm going to be wrapping up in just a minute or so. It's really good to see you, though. How are things going? Another totem. Yeah, I'm planning to get to Final Fantasy V in January. So next month. Probably two or three weeks. Doing well just chilling on your week off? That's awesome. Okay, let's deactivate the woodcutter camp. Playing the new Pokemon DLC and re Advising a planet coaster park you left years ago without finishing? That's really cool. Oh, oh, okay, so it's save and quit. Unfortunately, I do have to get going now because we're going to come up on ads very shortly. Let's see if we can find somebody that we can go raid. I have an idea in mind already of who we're going to go with because they're playing, if I'm not mistaken, a very similar game. Or he just might not actually be on. That's unfortunate. I thought we were going to go visit the Hunter Wild. Looks like he's not streaming right now. Okay, well, in that case, I have to be very quick about this. Let me see if I can find somebody. Jesus. I hardly know anybody on right now. Sailor B is on. Let's go visit B. All right, guys. I have to rush through this. I'm sorry. We're getting too close. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote of the channel. If you're a sub, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the tomb raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or from another streamer, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So, oh. Damn it, she's raiding out. Ah, oh, oh my God. Okay. I apologize, guys, but if that's the way it's going, I actually, I don't think I have time to raid tonight. I almost never do this. I think it's been probably close to 10 years since I did this, but we're just going to leave it. I'll send you into the ether and you can find your own way. Um, I hate not raiding, but I just don't have time to find somebody else. So we'll have to do a raid tomorrow because I'm going to be streaming tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I will catch you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>